And now, CB Reviews presents CB Rants on today's episode, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Hello and welcome to my first of a series of videos where I speak about films. And um, these videos will mostly be uh, unedited. Uh, for the most part, uh, I just wanted to express my opinion or talk about a movie or whatever in the most unedited fashion possible. So there will be minimal editing in these videos. Uh, they won't be quite as polished as my uh, my full-on film reviews. This is just me talking for a couple minutes. So, uh, the movie I'd like to talk about today is, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, I just finished, I literally just finished watching it, uh, for the second time. Um, I'll give you a, a quick rundown on what led me to watch this movie in the first place. Um, of course I saw the original, uh, Spider-Man trilogy, the, uh, Sam Raimi films. Uh, I really like them. Well, the first two, not really the third one, but whatever. Um, I saw The Amazing Spider-Man, the original, or the first one, uh, in the theater when it came out, because I was willing to give the new series a chance, even though it really wasn't necessary yet. Um, I actually enjoyed The Amazing Spider-Man when I saw it. Um but I felt it wasn't really, it didn't, it wasn't as good as the Sam Raimi films, except for maybe, okay, it was better than Spider-Man 3. We'll just leave it at that. But um, I wasn't really enthused about The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And then once I saw the first trailer, I thought it was the stupidest looking film ever. I thought this is just the worst looking thing ever. So I lost all interest in seeing this movie. And then a ton of my friends saw this movie and they said, it's pretty good. But I thought, mm, do I really want to watch this movie? I mean, I don't really want to go pay, you know, 20 bucks to go see pretty good. So I didn't. I didn't go see the movie in the theater. Um, when I came to home video, uh, I rented it, I watched it with my mother, and, um, uh, I liked it. You know, I, I mean, it was a pretty decent movie, I thought, uh, a little too long. I thought the first hour was just terrible, it just went on and on and on, it felt like two hours. And I thought, okay, this movie better get good by the, uh by the end, and uh, it did, but uh, I figure, okay, I'll buy the movie, because I didn't have uh, the first one anymore, I sold it, but I, I went, and I bought the uh, the pack with the two movies, uh, I rewatched the first one again, I really enjoyed it, uh, I had some problems with the, with the first Amazing Spider-Man, there was a lot of uh, really awkward dialogue between uh, Peter and uh, Gwen. And it was just like Twilight level awkward. I mean, it's just like I wanted to slap them because they just couldn't complete a, a damn sentence. And it's just like, finish a thought. Please. Sorry. Sorry, I actually had the, uh, the main menu of the movie running. That's why it's a little bright. Uh... Because, like I said, I literally just finished the movie. Um, so, the second one, it kind of improved on some of the flaws in this in the, in the first one. So, I think that's why I enjoyed the second one. I mean, whatever piddly little flaws I had with the, with the first one were improved with this one. Um, I get why a lot of people don't like the movie. I mean, I can see it. It's not like, oh, I like it, and your opinion's wrong, and you're wrong. No, I, I get it. I get why people don't like the new ones. 
And, you know, that's fine. You're all entitled to your own opinion. It's just... I don't know. I enjoyed the movie. And I don't... Re and I kind of regret not going to see it in the theater because I actually really enjoyed it. Um... I wasn't too keen on uh, Andrew Garfield at first, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to like him a little better as Spider-Man. Uh, Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy is way better than uh, Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane. Uh, I actually care about the relationship between the two main characters in the Amazing Spider-Man series. Uh... Mary Jane in the Sam Raimi films, I, I, she's okay in the first one, but then the second one, she just really starts getting all, you know, me, 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 I, 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 and by the third one, it's just like, I was actually hoping she would die at the end, because I just, I couldn't take it anymore. But, um, yeah, there, there are things better in these newer films, and there are things that are done better in the, uh, the original trilogy. But, uh, so I guess really it's, you know, your preference. Actually, I like the Sam Raimi trilogy a little bit better. But these new films, they're, they're all right. So, um, I guess that's it. Um, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more the uh, the second time I watched it. It seemed to move a little quicker, maybe because I knew what was going to happen. I don't know. So, um, yeah, this was my first attempt at a uh, film rant, or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, join me next time as I talk about another comic book film. I'm not going to be doing just comic book films, but... I feel like I have to say something about this particular film that I'm going to be doing next. Uh, next film I will be talking about will be Hulk. No, not The Incredible Hulk. Hulk. Yes, the 2003 Ang Lee uh, debacle. Um, I've, I feel that I have to weigh in on this movie. And uh, also keep an eye out for my next uh, film review which uh, I'm currently in the middle of writing, is uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla. So I've got those two videos coming, so uh, keep an eye out. Bye.